Hey all, this is Dave, and today's Big Hero Idea is debt versus investment. So I want to look at two scenarios. We've been talking about the power of compounding up till now. I want to take two, two guys, let's say a man and a woman, who are exactly in the same scenario. They're each 30 years old, working at the same job, making the exact same amount of money. The only difference is the man's got $100,000 of educational debt that is still on his shoulders. And he's paying that off, let's say, over a 20-year period. And the woman's got uh, no debt and actually $100,000 invested. Now, we'll say the educational debt is being paid at an interest rate. The interest is 6%. 6 and people often can get the, a bit more money than that in their investments. So let's say that the woman has her her money in an index fund on the stock market, which tends to grow at an average of 8%. So he's paying 6%. She's paying 8%. She's receiving 8%. So each of them is getting the same general general salary. But his money, a lot of it needs to go into paying off this debt. So I looked it up and I said, so say somebody's got a educational debt of $100,000 and they're paying it off for 20 years. So he's 30 years old. From that point on, he's got 20 more years of payments to make. How much is it going to cost him each month in order to be paying off this debt? So he's going to need to be, he's been paying it off over 20 years at 6% interest, he's going to need to pay over $700 a month to be paying down that debt to the point that it's going to be gone at age 50. So from 30 to 50, it's going to be gone, but over $700 a month that he needs to be putting into it. And let's just say that he needs to be, based on the salary he's getting, you know, it's $700 after tax. So he might need to earn $1,000 a month or $1,000 a month of his earnings have to go towards paying off that debt. Now, this woman on the other hand, our other person has got her $100,000 going at 8% interest. So first of all, she's now got $1,000 more per month than she, that she can spend on herself, on her family, on whatever it is, relative to this other guy who's out there. So she can, the, she can live at a much higher lifestyle day one starting at, at the at age 30. So if she does nothing, she spends all of her income, she's already in a much better spot because her lifestyle is in a much better level. And that $100,000 is just growing and growing and growing. So she's getting 8% at that same period of 20 years that it's just taking the other guy to get down to zero to get his debt gone. That $100,000 will, will grow to right around half a million. So one, the guy who's got $100,000 of debt He's got to live in a much lower lifestyle for 20 years, only to get zero. This other woman is going to have $1,000 more to live on per month. And at the end of those, those 20 years, is still going to have a half million dollars relative to his zero. But let's say she actually wants to live at the exact same lifestyle. Let's say that she's very conservative and wants to grow, grow her money. So each month, she takes that same $1,000 and she talks about putting that into into her investments. And there's a, with investments, there's a lot of ways to do that in a tax sheltered way. So let's just say she's putting $1,000 in every single month. So she's living at the same lower li lifestyle as the, as, our, as the guy in our story. That at the end of those 20 years, she's not going to have a half million dollars. She's going to have a full million dollars plus that have accrued just from living at the same lifestyle as the guy who had only $100,000 worth of debt. 100,000 doesn't sound like a giant amount. We know lots of people these days who are coming out of school with a, with a quarter million dollars. Sometimes I heard recently like an average dentist has like $400,000 of debt. So even that $100,000 can take you, you know, 20 years to pay off. And there's that calculator I saw said if you had $100,000 worth, worth of debt, you should be making something like, you really want to make over $80,000 a year just to keep up with those loan payments to have a fairly reasonable lifestyle at the at the end of that, you'd be only putting away if you're paying, you know, 10% of your uh, of what you're making into that. It's 80,000. Most people are not coming out of school with these $80,000 the jobs. It's not that that plentiful. And so, really, even just a small amount of debt with that compounding can can be a real, you know, can be a backbreaker. Whereas on the other side, if you were able to accrue that $100,000 and just and add to it little by little, you can see that you know, adding to it not at all. This, uh, the woman in our story had half a million dollars by age, by age 50. And she was adding to it a million dollars. And that's already enough 
to retire on if it's still invested and making good interest. So it just makes an absolute gigantic difference between having debt that you're paying into each month and having a certain amount of capital that is just, it is growing. And it doesn't, and the other option, of course, is that you're actually taking in from it. So she could have a much higher lifestyle if she's actually living on some of that interest that is coming in rather than letting it grow and accumulate and get to the point where she can really have a giant nest egg at the end of that period of time.